so in the previous lesson we had we finished making the shader for the ice cream and in this one we're going to take a look at the shader for the chocolate sauce so this is not a very complicated shader we basically just want to work with uh, with like a transparent shader so we want to we want to try and build like a fairly dense uh, liquid shader so what i want to do first of all is uh, let's let's build a material for it so we'll take a redshift network i'll call it chocolate sauce and i'll create an rs material and let's come up and what i'll do is we will come to the cake and this is my chocolate like the sauce on the inside you know and like this is the sauce on the inside and the sauce on top okay and what i've done is uh, i realized that this has normals and this doesn't so i gave it some normals okay so that's the one thing i've done like i've given it some vertex normals so we will take a material over here like at this point uh, just turn off the render because you know it keeps trying to recalculate and we'll just pick up the sauce shop net and we'll pick up chocolate sauce and let's do one thing for the cake temporarily we will go back to basic so that you know that doesn't calculate or that doesn't take up too much render time and we will hide the crumbs all right so uh, let's turn on the uh, the render again now the look i want to go for is something like this so something that's fairly dark uh, like you get a lot of variety within chocolate sauce like you can get something that is fairly sort of light brown not light brown but dark brown and you know this is this is really dark and towards red i want this because the cake is dark anyways we want to try and get it to uh, be of a similar shade and that also highlights the ice cream overall you know so from a color standpoint it will work a lot better okay so what you what you want to do is just jump in you know let's come into the shop net chocolate sauce and what we want to do is we don't we we're, we're going to make a glass shader or like a water shader so the first thing you want to do is get the weight down to 0 for diffuse so this is black and uh, get the ior down to about 1.1.3 uh, or 1.25 should be good okay so it's not too specular and we will also get the roughness up to about 0.1 so not very rough because we want to see the specular and then just get the uh, reflection the refraction weight up up to 1 so what you'll end up getting is something completely transparent okay so let's just draw a region because we don't need to see the background or anything to be calculated so uh, nothing too complicated here we primarily just want to work with uh, initially we'll start working with the transmittance color and then we will start building the scattering because uh, this is transparent but it's also sort of scattering light in there when it gets thin enough light does go through you know so you have to compensate like you have you have to have the shader work that part out as well okay so we're going to take the transmittance color and we'll come towards red and get it somewhere around there okay like fairly dark and then jump up the absorption scale to about 40 okay so you'll get something this dark see so what's happening is like this has gotten really dark but you can see uh, you know it passing through here so this is thin enough so you know light is still sort of passing through these places the point is we still want a little bit of sort of shading in there and which you can bring in by uh, giving a little bit of subsurface scatter okay so what you do is uh, you can actually go a little higher yeah okay let's do one thing let's keep it to 50 and then we will work it out yeah i think that's okay okay and now let's take the scatter scale and let's make it about 10 like one or two doesn't really make a difference but you will start seeing see what happens is you see like light like it suddenly feels like it's shaded earlier it was just black you know like this is almost jet black you're not really getting any color on it but the minute you give it a little bit of scattering you know like if i give it even a scattering of one you suddenly see like a shading coming on it so uh, just bring it up to about 15 to start with and see that's what you end up getting so the color gets a little weird Okay, so uh, let's try one thing. Let's try to give the yeah, you know, so you can give the scattering a little bit of color as well, and that will sort of help out with the overall. You know, like if we draw a line here as well. See, so now this kind of matches. So you mix the absorption scale with the scattering scale, and see now that's that's fairly decent. You know, chocolate sauce. It's not this dark, but I'm sure if we have a lighter chocolate sauce, it will work. You know, so you're somewhere around like that area. 
yeah so this isn't bad at all so now uh, like let's see if we can go slightly more reddish with this and let's take this to 25 no don't go higher because higher will keep making it lighter let's keep it about five so you have to find like the right balance because if the scattering scale is too low this looks too transparent and if it's too high it gets too bright so you don't want that okay so uh, let's keep i think 15 was a good place to be see so this is like you know this evens out fairly well and let's try to make the absorption a little darker yeah so you just want to find like the right balance where everything sort of evens out like we can try to go dark over here as well let's try to bring back the cake shader as well so we can just do a comparison with that so let's come back into cake and we will bring back the cake shader yeah so if we come back up it will try to recalculate and yeah there you go oh yeah that matches quite well because the idea would be like if this is a reddish cake then the sauce because this is a chocolate cake technically it's looking too red that's uh, because you know we are compensating for the crumbs on top like once the crumbs come up it doesn't look as red but there you go you know this this is perfectly fine as to what we want so see the, the thin areas you're getting like a little bit of light going through and this is sort of perfectly thick enough so let me just see if i can adjust that yeah so you don't want to go towards brown with this then because then it doesn't match that like you wanted to match this particular color it has a tendency to sort of jump completely in like a single move but i think this is okay yeah i think that's uh, no red i think red is fine yeah let's try to go to 25 no 10 yeah i think 10 is good let's keep it to 10 and let's also we can take the face if you take the face to negative uh, that won't be a bad idea either because it will just get the light to pass through these areas yeah that's perfectly fine Okay, now one thing I want to do is uh, I had sort of in my camera, I had increased the, yeah, my saturation is at 1.2. Let's try to bring that back to one just to see what we have. Let's try to increase it. Okay, that's way too much. Yeah, you can try, you can like do a little bit of color grading here if you want, but I think this is okay. Okay, now along with this, Okay, so along with this, what we want is a slight bit of a bump map. Because if you look at the chocolate sauce, the surface is a little rough. Like it's not absolutely smooth. Okay, like even here, you can make out like, you know, this. See, it's a, it's a little rough. It's not absolutely plain. So let's give it like a little bit of a bump map so that it looks rough enough. So let's come into ShopNet. And we'll again just pick up an RS noise and a bump map. So just connect the out color to input and plug that to bump. Okay, and as usual, the initial is a little too high. So let's get uh, this to fractal. We'll increase the complexity to about six. See, so this looks fairly rough. All right, so there's our bump map. So now all we need to do is just adjust the overall scale. So let's take, uh, let's take this to 10. Okay, and let's take the overall scale to about 50. So it's really fine, you know, something like that. And get the bump map down to about 0 0.01. Yeah, I think it's still too grainy. Yeah, okay, 0 0.001. Yeah, because we want we want roughness, but we, like, if you notice, like, you can make out the specular, like, it's not blurring out completely. So you don't want to do that. Yeah, this isn't bad, uh, but I think the map can go finer still. So let's make this to about 30. So it's a really fine noise map. Yeah, I think that's good. And what you can do is if you want, you can try and work a little bit with the bias. So if I increase the bias, you know, it might sort of lessen the bump. Like, yeah, it'll create some spacing between the dots. So it won't be like a uniform thing. Like if I go really high, let me see what I get. See, now the, the specular is mostly back. Like you'll just get like a few fine grain dots in the middle. Yeah, like if I get this back to, you know, like 10 or 11, it should be easier to spot. See, so you're just getting like a few spots in here, you know, like not a lot of them. Let's try 0 0.05. Yeah, see, so you're getting like these few spots. And we can try to lower the max value as well. 
So if you want like patches of noise, we can work with the bias and the max value. Like if I lower the bias, then the noise spreads everywhere. So this is sort of like you're controlling contrast. You're creating like patches of noise. So yeah, I think we can go a little high, which is okay. And then take this back to 30. Yeah, and then get this back to 0 0.02. So if we do a full render of this, okay, so let's, let's do one thing. Let's stop this. We'll bring back the crumbs as well. And let's come into the ROPnet. Let me save this. So I'll turn off IPR progressive. So yeah, so this isn't a very complex uh, material overall. But the idea is like, don't mix it with a diffuse, just work purely with, a, you know, like a transparent shader and just absorption and scattering. Okay, so let this render and we'll just, we'll come back. All right, so there you go. So this is the final render. So that took about two minutes. Uh, but yeah, this is the shader that we have. So that matches fairly close to, you know, something like this over here. So yeah, I think the noise map can be a little bit finer than it is right now, but this is okay. Like this isn't too bad. All right, so this is the chocolate sauce shader. And the next one is going to be probably the simplest one, uh, which is creating the shader for the sprinkles. And then we'll get into uh, something more complex again, which is building a shader for the spoon.